Hey guys, I'm at Tinkercad.com and I've logged in already and I'm going to show you real quick how to do a four minute mug. This is my four minute mug. So I'm going to create a new design and it'll load a new build plate and once I'm there, the very first thing I'm going to do is grab a cylinder, place the cylinder, and I'm going to change the size of it. Now I'm going to drag this, I'm going to hold the shift key while I drag this and then click away. Next thing I'm going to do is add this whole cylinder. Okay, drag this little dot so I change the size. Okay, also right here maybe change the size. Now if I want it to be a perfect rounded uh, or perfect circle, I need to make sure those two dimensions are the same, the 25 and the 25. Okay, now I'm going to click away. Now I'm going to move this, but I want to make sure I can place it really, really good. So over here on the left, I'm going to switch to orthographic view. And then I'm going to click up here to look directly down on top of it. I'm going to select this. Push the M key for move. And then I can drag it right where I want it. I'm going to put it right here because then I'm going to change the size of it just a little bit. Say 29 by 29. Click away. I'm going to click on it again. Push the M key again. Move it around. You can actually even use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move it around kind of perfectly where you want it. If it's not moving exactly where you want it, it could be because of the snap. I'm going to change it to half millimeter. That way, when I, when I move it, it moves smaller, smaller steps. Okay. I'm going to click away. Now I need to see it from the side. So I'm going to see the front view. Now I don't want this cylinder to go all the way down to the bottom, so I'm just going to raise this thing up so that way it doesn't subtract this part of the mug. I'll click away. Again, so I'll select this shape and then hold down the shift key and select that shape. All right, sometimes it's a little slow. Okay, select both of them. Okay, so you got to click one, hold down the shift key, click the other one. And then up here in the upper right, you're going to click group. And what that does is it subtracts that one cylinder from the shape. So now I have a cup. Okay. Now I want to add a handle to it. So I'm going to scroll down on the right here. I'm going to find the torus shape. Click that. I'll click it again. Now there's a couple different ways you can do this, but what I'm going to do is go ahead and just change the shape of it a little bit. Okay, you might want to play around with that a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to change the angle of it. I'm going to do a 90 degree turn. Uh, okay, looks like I'll need to do another, probably another 90 degree turn. 90, come on, 90. There it goes. Okay. Now, if you want to bring something automatically up to the build plate, you could push the letter D. Think of it like drop. So if it's up in the up in the air and you want it to go right down to the very bottom, just push D, it drops it. Okay. So I need to change the angle of this again. I'm gonna do a 90. There we go. You kind of see where I'm going with this. All right, I'm going to click here to the right, select it. I'm going to move it up over here just so I have, oops, hit that scroll wheel. Okay, I'm going to move it over here. That way I can just mess with it and my other, my other guy doesn't get in the way. Okay, now, just like I did this cylinder subtraction, I'm going to use this box, change the size and shape of it a little bit. It's gonna be. It's gonna disappear. Okay, I'm gonna click on it. Push M. Okay, so it's gonna cut. It's gonna cut that torus in half. But I need to make sure it's completely covered. It. See, see when it was like this. I don't want that to be left out. So I'm gonna grab that. Okay. Then select the torus. Hold down Shift. Select that square. Click Group. Boom. Now I have half a torus as a shape. Okay, I can click on it, push M, move it around. I'm going to move it over here. I want it to go into the mug a little bit. Okay, but I don't want it to go in too far. 
because then it'll be inside my inside where I'm going to drink. Okay, I'm going to click top. That way, I get a good view. Okay, I think that's probably about center. Eh, maybe up a little bit. Eh, maybe down one. That looks good. I'm going to go to this view right here. The front view. Now the thing is, I I don't want to make the mug. I don't want to make the handle smaller. So I'll make the mug bigger. Ha ha. I might want to make this handle a little bit like that, and then move it up off the ground a little. There you go. Last step is I need to group them together. So I'm going to select the mug, the cup area. Select the handle. Maybe you got to hold shift, and then click group. And there I have one solid piece, my little mug. Okay, you can spend as much or a little time on it, on it if you want to make it fancier. Try looking at some of the uh, other tools to see if you like uh, making it, you know, a little bit better. Okay, if you want to uh, export it for 3D printing, you click export, select STL. Oh yeah, everything in the design, and then STL. It'll download. If you share it with me, then I can send it to the 3D printer. Okay, and that's it.